Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 24th through the 30th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus placements. And we are going to do one card at a time. All right, we have the Four of Swords with the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Right behind the Two of Cups is the Hierophant, which is Taurus. And then it is the Hermit, which is Virgo. Um, and then it is the Two of Swords, so maybe some of you are in between two different options, or maybe um, you're in between two different kinds of relationships, I'm not sure, but it kind of feels like with the Four of Swords, the universe is saying, do not rush it, you know, don't rush the process, um, kind of like maybe right now, some of you need time to yourselves, maybe you feel like a relationship or a commitment or a friendship or, you know, something with a family member, has been taking a lot of energy out of you. Maybe you feel like you need to recharge um, and maybe spend some time in hermit mode to kind of, you know, get acquainted with yourself again. Um, so we'll kind of clarify that later on. Let's see what else we get here for you, Gemini. And we have the Two of Swords with the Fool. So maybe some of you have been contemplating taking a leap of faith on something. Maybe you're still kind of trying to figure out exactly, you know, um, if you have the time or the resources, or maybe some of you feel like that's not really what's stopping you, maybe it's more of a mental block, right? Maybe it's not the time or the resources um, or anything, you know, tangible. Maybe it's just that you feel as though taking this chance is not possible right now. So we'll clarify that as well. We have the Ten of Wands with the Six of Swords. So I kind of feel like with this Ten of Wands, you're getting ready to complete something. And I feel like right after that happens, you'll be prompted to move in a specific direction. Maybe some of you are not ready to do that. Maybe you feel like it's happening too fast, right? It's kind of like there's this overwhelming energy coming through. But I do feel like the universe wants you to feel empowered and encouraged to go whichever direction you feel you should, right? Listen to your heart. Listen to your gut. Um, I feel like with this Ten of Wands, maybe you need some time to relax after completing something before deciding to make a move, right? Maybe there needs to be some sort of, I don't know, refractory period where you can just kind of get back to baseline. I'm not sure if that's the right term, to be honest, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. So maybe that's what we need to do before we're ready to kind of get back into action, right? So um, let's see what else we get here. We have the Death card, which is Scorpio, and the Queen of Wands. So maybe there is some sort of um, ending or new beginning happening here with a Divine Feminine. Maybe you're connecting to a Scorpio. Maybe some of you feel as though there was a, um abrupt ending or closing of a chapter with a person that you feel um, just doesn't kind of make sense. We have the Four of Wands right behind that Queen of Wands. So it kind of feels like you still think about this person or maybe this person still thinks about you, right? There's this um, kind of maybe visualizing or thinking about the future, kind of like your imagination. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, there's also something here about you feeling as though um, something hasn't really been given the amount of time that it needs. I'm not sure what that's about so i'm actually just gonna stop here and we're gonna start clarifying because all of these cards need clarification so let's clarify first that four of swords all right judgment so yeah i feel like you have to make some sort of determination but i feel like the universe does not want you to rush we have the king of swords the eight of cups and the queen of pentacles i kind of feel like with that eight of cups it could be that something is going to um, kind of happen naturally to help you make this choice. So that's why the universe is saying don't rush it because something else is going to happen anyway, right? If you start to make all of these plans and all of these changes and things kind of just happen from under the rug or unexpectedly, then, you know, all of that will go to waste. So I kind of feel like the universe is saying just kind of take it day by day. Don't try to anticipate someone else's actions because you may not be right, right? Sometimes we cannot tell exactly what someone is going to do we can try our best but i feel like the universe is saying do not anticipate anyone else's actions but your own right behind the judgment is the lovers which is your energy it's gemini so i feel like you need to be very clear on what it is that you're okay with and what it is that you feel you have control over 
So with this Eight of Cups, I also feel like this could be about the separation or the need for some sort of boundary between you and a person. Maybe this is something that you've been giving a lot of thought. Um, and the universe wants you to, again, not take such big actions right now until you feel like you're in the right place to do so. All right, let's clarify the Two of Swords. Ten of Swords, yeah. I feel like there is a big change happening in your life right now that is very good, right? It's something transformational, something that is very um, pleasant, beneficial, but the idea of having to maybe start all over or start fresh is very stressful at this time. So with that Ten of Swords, that's why we're also seeing the Two of Swords. It's like you don't want to make a decision because it's just, it's very stressful. But I feel like the universe wants you to understand that once you do it, once you finally kind of tackle it, it's going to be a lot easier than you think. So we have the High Priestess, which is Pisces, the Strength, which is Leo, and the Star, which is Aquarius. So I feel like some of you are going to be doing something that is out of the norm for you. Maybe this is something that is outside of your comfort zone and, you know, a part of you really wants to do it because it could be life-changing. Uh, for some of you, this could be, you know, a new career, a new job, a new relationship, you know, maybe you're moving. It's like something that just kind of takes a lot out of you, but I feel like with the High Priestess, you know genuinely deep down inside Gemini that this is for you, right? Something is calling you for a reason to go in this direction. And even though right now it may seem very difficult, I feel like the universe wants you to be hopeful and see this for what it is, which is a moment of rejuvenation, right? A moment for you to shine, a moment for you to prove to yourself that you can do something outside of your comfort zone and be as successful as when you do something that is within it, right? So this is about you kind of really overcoming your own mental blocks because that's what it truly is that's giving you this feeling. Because on the surface, it's a really good thing. I mean, genuinely. All right, let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. So we have the Five of Cups, King of Wands, and the Justice, which is Libra. So maybe for some of you, this is about some sort of karmic justice moment. I kind of feel like with that Five of Cups and the King of Wands, you have to make a very difficult decision that might require you to maybe disappoint someone or do something selfishly because that's just, you know, what you have to do. And I feel like with this King of Wands, this may be, you know, something that you have to do because of the position that you're in. Uh, maybe, at you know, this is about work and you have to maybe fire someone, right? Maybe you are just in that position and part of you doesn't want to because, you know, that's a lot of pressure and responsibility and you don't want someone to feel a certain way because of a decision you made. But I feel like this is part of, you know, being in that position. I feel like justice really does speak to the balance that has to happen in the world. And sometimes we are what makes that balance possible, right? The decisions that we make. Um, I feel like with this page of wands, universe wants you to see this as, you know, a different opportunity to learn about yourself or a different opportunity to learn about maybe the way that sometimes things that don't seem to make sense actually do. We have the temperance and the world and the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this is about you trying to make a decision here um, that you feel you need more time for. But I feel like with that world card, this is what's going to get you to your new beginning. So, you know, maybe you're not necessarily firing somebody, but maybe you're choosing to walk away from a situation that doesn't serve you. And you know, deep down inside that it's the right thing for you to do. It's what's going to allow you to regain back control in your life. It's what's going to allow you to have that justice, that balance. And yes, it's maybe the first time you have to do something like this, but, you know, just think about what it's going to do to, you know, amplify and elevate your future in the long run. It is all about perspective. All right, let's clarify the death card. You know, we are still technically in Gemini season, so towards the end of June, you know, your energy is just, it's going to be very strong. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me that um, getting started with this next half of the year, there's a lot of bi really big themes happening in your life, right? Because you've, you've just completed your solar return. So naturally, it would make sense that um, halfway through the year, you know, so many of 
the things in your life are changing, but I definitely feel like it is for the best. So let's clarify that death card. Nine of wands. Yeah, I feel like right now, a lot of the things that you could be going through, they may feel like tests. They may feel like, you know, the universe is trying you or something like that. But I feel like this is genuinely a part of your rebirth, right? This is exactly what I was saying. You just completed your solar return, Gemini. You are in the moment where everything is just shifting because you are, you know, you've, you've made that additional round around the sun. You're a different person. You're evolved. You're more mature. So naturally, you know, things are going to feel different. So this is technically, you know, the ending of that, that past part of yourself, right? You're a new person. Um, I'm trying to say it in a way that doesn't sound cliche, but it's not really working. So just see this death card as genuinely your rebirth. And to further clarify it, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Six of Cups. So this is honestly, the Six of Cups, I think about your past self, right? I think about your inner child and how it's always looking up to you and that new version of yourself that you're becoming. I think about the Tower and I think, okay, transformation, evolution, literally everything that is happening right now in this moment for you. And then two of pentacles, you could be making one of the biggest decisions in your life right now. Maybe that's what I'm picking up on. Maybe that's why, you know, there's so many different themes coming through. But I genuinely believe that that mental block is the only thing in your way right now, Gemini, from you recognizing that you've come so far. And that what you're about to do is really establish some sort of a legacy here for yourself. So right behind the nine of wands is the hierophant, which is beliefs, traditions, wisdom, higher higher level thinking, higher level commitment. Um, I really feel like you are just tapping into your higher self in the 3D world. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.